Okay, my pen just decided not to start not working. So this uh, this video is, if I can get my, get my pen to work, is about uh, loading factor. So loading factor is um, actually a name that I came up with just so it would have a name, but uh, this, I've never heard anybody else say this, but th so this is just so we have something that I can just say loading factor and you know what I mean. Okay, so the loading factor, still no pin. One more try. Nope. Okay. So the loading factor um, has to do with uh, when you have two circuits, you have circuit one, and you have circuit two, and they both work great on their own, but when you connect them up, circuit two pulls some current, and um, the voltage at this output now changes. So the, the event of circuit two pulling current, um, remember when this wasn't connected to circuit two, there wasn't any current coming out of there. This was an open circuit. So cir you attach circuit two, current gets pulled, and the voltage at this node changes. That's loading. And there's a way to figure out how much circuit two will load circuit one. And the way you do that is with what I call the loading factor. And the loading factor is where you find the R out of circle circuit one, and you find the R in of circuit two, put a 2 there for circuit 2 and R out 1 for circuit 1. Um, and um, if you can find these two values, you can figure out how much connecting your circuit, circuit 1, to, to circuit 2, how much that will kill the gain or kill the sig signal, um, kill the amplitude of the signal. And the way you look at that is uh, if this is... Um, First, just identifying what R out and R in is if if C1 is a common emitter, then the R out is just that small signal R out that you found using small signal analysis. And the same thing for R, R in too. You take this circuit and you find its R in, and that's how you find your R in too. Okay, so let's look at that a little bit. Uh, let's let's uh, actually look at what the loading factor is now, if you can find these two values. And it is, um, if this is a voltage out circuit, so if circuit one is a voltage out circuit, you can model that as a Thevenin equivalent. And the Thevenin equivalent has a voltage source and it has an R out. And this R out is exactly this R out. So it's whatever R out you find for your circuit one. So this is all circuit one here. one okay um, and any uh, if you're wor if you're working on loading if you're trying to figure out the loading factor how much your second circuit's going to load your first circuit um, you uh, you can use this seven in representation of your circuit you don't really care what your circuit did does it you care about what the the uh, resistance seen at its output is and then let's look at circuit two. Circuit two um, it, let's say circuit two is a CC. It's a common collector or same thing as an emitter follower, whatever it might be. The R into your second circuit. So this is going to be two and this is going to be one. R into your second circuit looks something like this. So um, We've got these two circuits. There's circuit one representation if you're trying to find loading, and circuit two representation if you're trying to find loading. And you have the R in for circuit two and the R out for circuit one. So uh, let's go a step further. If you if this is V and there's and this node is V prime and and this V prime is going to be the input to your next circuit when you connect them. They're not connected right now. 
If they're not connected, uh, how much current goes through the resistor? Since this is an open circuit, the answer is zero. So there's no voltage drop across the resistor, and V prime equals V. Okay, so now let's try um, connecting the two circuits. So if we connect these up, so actually let's do this. That's here V equals V prime. Okay, so let's take a picture of this. So there's that. Now let's now let's connect them up. So if we connect them up, the question is: Is V prime still equal to V? And redrawing this might help. This node right here, I put I drew V prime inside the box. We can move that out here. Uh, v prime is the voltage that goes into your second circuit. So the question is now. Is V prime still equal to V? And if you look at this and redraw it, let's redraw it. If you redraw it, you have your voltage source. Sorry, I'm doing this with the mouse because the pen stopped working. And just pull this R out, out, and do it like this. There's your R out. One. And then your R in. Two. And here's your V. And here's your, your V prime. And V prime, again, is the input to your second circuit. And you can see that uh, when it's not connected, V prime equals V. But when it is connected, you end up with a voltage divider, so V prime actually equals V times R in two R in two plus R out one. And this is, uh, this um, is what I call the loading factor. It's you, originally V prime equals V when you connect it up. Now V prime equals V times something that's less than one. And I call this the loading factor. And the gain of your entire amplifier, let's say you had, let's say you had a common emitter. We'll just drop block boxes. You had a common emitter going into a common collector, just like I mentioned above. You can find the Rn of the common collector. These are, this is everything you need to know to find uh, the, the gain from the input of the common emitter to the output of the common collector. You have R out of the CE. And then you have the gain the CE, and you have the gain of the CC. Now your complete, uh, your complete gain here, A, AV total, and by that I mean you give it a signal here, and you look at the signal here. So the AV total is from here to here. Okay. AV total equals the gain of the common emitter. And when you cascade, when you chain together amplifiers, the gain is the gain is uh, the gain of the amplifiers multiplied. And then you also have to take into account the loading factor because the signal into your second stage is going to be reduced by some factor and then go in um, to the second stage. And for common collectors, this is pretty close to one. Um, you'll see in the homework when, when you find the loading factor that uh, it's actually reduced by a bit um, before it goes in. Uh, I shouldn't say that. The, the common collector gain, sorry, 
common collector gain, just assume it's a one. And then you have the loading factor uh, time. Uh, you have the two gains of the amplifiers times the loading factor, and that gives you your total gain from the input to the output.